Hi there, and welcome back to this course on Introduction to Geographic Information Systems. My name is Kate, and let's get started. Today we are going to learn main principles, stages and components of GIS. At the end of the lecture, you will be able to define GIS and understand its main components needed to apply for your future GIS project. Ok, let's get started. Main principles of GIS GIS can relate unrelated information by using location as a key index variable. Locations or extents in the Earth space time may be recorded as dates, times of occurrence and x, y and z coordinates represented longitude, latitude and elevation respectively. All Earth-based spatial temporal location and extent references should be relatable to one another and ultimately to a real physical location or extent. Geographic information system really comes down to just four simple ideas. Create geographic data, manage it, analyze it and display it on the map. Hundreds of thousands of organizations in virtually every field are using GIS to make maps that communicate, perform analysis, share information and solve complex problems around the world. This is changing the way the world works. Main stages of GIS analysis are shown on the slide. Namely, they are identification of the problem, monitoring change, managing and responding to events, performing forecasting, setting up the priorities and understanding the trends. Now let's talk about how GIS works. GIS technology applies geographic science with tools for understanding and collaboration. It helps people reach a common goal to gain actionable intelligence from all types of data. For this, GIS uses maps, data or geodata, analysis and apps. Let's now talk about each of these components. The first component is the maps. Maps are the geographic container for the data layers and analytics you want to work with. GIS maps are easily shared and embedded in apps and accessible by virtually everyone and everywhere. The second component is data or geodata. GIS integrates many different kinds of data layers using special location. Most data has a geographic component. GIS data includes imagery, features and base maps linked to spreadsheets and tables. The third component is analysis or special analysis. Special analysis lets you evaluate suitability and capability, estimate and predict, interpret and understand and much more, lending new perspectives to your insights and decision making. The last component is the apps. Apps provide focused user experiences for getting work done and bringing GIS to life for everyone. JS apps work virtually everywhere – on your mobile phones, tablets, in web browsers and desktops. Now, as you have learned main structure of JS and know how to define it, let's talk about the software packages that are available for JS analysis. This will be the topic of the following lecture in the course.